this video, I'm going to show you how to create, edit and delete events. So what are events? They are place markers which represent key events in the client's life, forming a framework around which the plan is built. Events can be entered on the timeline, and I'll look at this in a moment. Events are an extremely flexible and powerful feature in Voyant. Not only are they a feature that allow you to schedule things to happen in the future, they also serve as discussion points as you present your plans to your clients. You can view them in the timeline, the charts in the dashboard, and the let's see. And you can clearly see the events serving as inflection points there on this timeline. Moreover, they are movable. Should you need to reschedule something, you can immediately see the effect as you drag the event up and down the timeline. Repositioning an event will affect everything that is connected to the event. So how do you create an event? First of all, you would go to Timeline and then you would click on the plus button in the bottom right hand corner and select the event tile. You can create an event by editing all of the fields that are denoted by the asterisks and you can set the time of the event by using the year, the age or the slider. So let's create an event. We'll have the owner as David, and we'll have the timing here, and I'm gonna use the slider. Have this coming in when he's 67. Once you've completed all the sections, click on Done. This event will now appear on the timeline there. You can also create an event by double-clicking on the given year on the timeline itself. If you wanted to edit this, you can do it here already, and I'm gonna do that now, because I'm gonna change the icon that we've used. So I'm going to click on the event and then I'm going to use the inheritance icon here. I forgot to do that before. And then click on done and what you'll see now it's been edited and we'll now see the inheritance icon there. So at the moment this is a place marker to which you are most likely to add an expense or a windfall, etc. So in this example, I'm going to link it to a windfall. To do that, I'm going to go back to the dashboard. I'm going to click on the plus button in the bottom right hand corner. Click on income because it's money coming in and then choose windfall. I'm going to complete the basic information. I'm going to have it as inheritance, but you can see there's a drop down and you can choose different options. And then the amount, I'm going to put 50,000 in here. Just a quick note here as well, instead of having to do all the zeros, if you did a K now, it would show that as 50,000. Thought it was quite a nice little tip. Now the next thing you need to do is go to timing and link this windfall to the event you created. You can do that by dragging and dropping that into the box that says windfall starts. And once you've completed all that, you click done. Once linked to the windfall, the event will schedule when the windfall is to occur in this plan. And you can see that here at age 67. Events can be used to schedule not only windfalls or expenses, but also the time span over which things like annual contributions can be made to savings and investments or pensions and all sorts of things like that. So, how do you move an event? If you need to change the year an event is scheduled to happen, you can do this simply by going to Timeline and click on the event and move it up the time panel. If I go back to Dashboard now, you will see that the event and the windfall that was attached to it has moved. I showed you before how to edit an event, but I'll just go over that again. If you want to edit an event, changing the names or changing the icons like I did before, select the event either from the icon on the timeline or by going into it uh, in the list there. And I say you can change the icons, you can change the name and you can change the year that way. Once you've done all that, click done. To delete an event, you simply click on the event itself and you will see the bin in the top left hand corner. Now, it, and then you can just click on the bin to delete it. If the event is linked to something else, so like if we go back to the windfall one, it will remind you 
that this is linked to something else so you will have to link delete the linkage before you can delete the event itself. I hope you found this article useful and thanks for listening.